Hey folks, welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn how to set up our project to use Cucumber JVM so that we can start writing BDD tests. So what is BDD in a nutshell? See, in order to get the uh, advantage of software testing, what organizations are doing is they are uh, taking a step forward. That is, they are uh, implementing important acceptance test scenarios while uh, they are actually developing the features. So the approach is commonly known as uh, BDD. So BDD gives an opportunity to create uh, test scripts from both the developer as well as the customer perspective. So in the beginning, what happens is developers, project managers, QAs, uh, user exception testers, as well as product owners, they all get together and basically brainstorm about what test scenarios should be written in order to basically pass a feature. So this way, they basically will uh, come up with a set of test scenarios and uh, these tests are basically written in plain English. So it also serves as documentation. Now Cucumber is nothing but, or Cucumber JVM is uh, nothing but, this is a, a open source library which uh, supports uh, behavior driven development, right? So this uh, uh, Cucumber JVM is actually a Java implementation. So you have different bindings in Cucumber. You have uh, Ruby, you have Python and so on. But uh, Serenity basically uses Cucumber JVM. So this uh, diagram actually represents how we can use Cucumber in Serenity. So we have uh, the main page object class provided by the Serenity BD framework. So whatever pages we implement, they all actually extend the page object class. So we have seen that so far. And from this, we basically now build the Serenity steps or the reusable Serenity steps. And from there, we actually write JUnit tests, right? Whenever we want to write JUnit tests, we're actually calling the serenity steps. So this is how we were uh, writing tests so far. Now in uh, BDD, we won't be writing JUnit tests. Instead, what we will do is, we will be writing tests in our feature files. So feature files will basically contain uh, scenarios. That is, uh, scenarios are different test cases. Uh, for a particular feature, you can write different scenarios and they will be in plain English. So these are actually our test cases. And uh, the thing that binds the features to whatever code that we have here is nothing but the Cucumber steps. So this is provided by the Cucumber JVM library. So this is the glue code. This will bind the plain English whatever we write here to the steps that we have actually created. So whatever steps are there, we will be using in the uh, step definitions that we write over here. And finally, to execute the features, we will be using the Cucumber runner. So this is uh, the only chain that we'll be doing here. So with respect to actually creating any pages or page objects or any sanity steps, we don't need to uh, do anything much for the JPEG store application. So we can reuse all the, you know, uh, things that we created so far. The only difference is instead of creating JUnit tests, we'll be creating feature files. And for, uh, you know, gluing the feature files to the steps, we'll be using or we'll be creating uh, cucumber step definitions and finally to run this we'll be using the cucumber runner so let's go ahead and actually uh, you know configure our project so that we can start using uh, cucumber bdd in Serenity. so this is the project that we'll be working with so this project is nothing but this is a copy of what we implemented so far i just copied the same project over into this workspace the things that i have retained here is all the pages and the page objects that we created so far so they are all here and this is the enum, enum value for the different pet categories. And this is nothing but the uh, different uh, steps that we created. These are all the reusable steps. And also, this is nothing but under the test resources, I have a folder called drivers, which contain all the binaries. This is the configuration file and the properties file. The things that I have deleted is, I have deleted the test data folder because I don't need test data folder here. Uh, to store test data, we'll be actually storing it in the feature files itself. And also, I've uh, deleted all the, uh, you know, JUnit tests that I had created. So, we won't be writing any JUnit tests, so we don't need them. So, this is the only change that I've done. That is, I've deleted a couple of folders. Now, in order to include Cucumber JVM in our Serenity project, what we need to do is we need to add some dependencies. So, let me bring up the browser. So, in Naval Depository, if I search for the Serenity library, I will get some results and under that you have um, 
70 cucumber so I'm not able to find that let's see if it's here but let me search for 70 cucumber okay so this is the dependency that we need to add we have uh, the group ID and the artifact ID so this is what we need so in the project I already have it So I have configured a property to provide the version. So I'm going to use the 1.9.21 version and uh, the dependency is somewhere down here. So it's right here. So this is the dependency. This is the only thing that we need to do. So we just need to add this dependency and uh, we'll basically get all the libraries provided by the Cucumber JVM. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder under the resources. And I'll call this as features. So this is where we'll be creating our feature files. And the third thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a couple of folders. So I'll just open it in the I'll directly go to the folder over here. And what I'll do is under JPEG store, I'm going to create a new folder called as Cucumber. And let me just copy these steps, or rather, I'll just cut it because I don't want this in this location. Instead, what I'll do is in Cucumber, I'm going to paste this. And also, Copy and again, uh, you know, cut this from here. And under steps, I'm going to create a new folder called uh, Serenity. And paste it here. So let me just close this. Let's go back to Eclipse and let me just refresh this. Okay, so this will basically complain about the path, so we need to just change this over here. So the package declaration would now be com.jpetstore.cucumber.steps.serenity. Save this, so there is no error here. So with this, the configuration of the project is completed. We have added the necessary dependencies and we have also done some modifications to the folder structure over here. Don't worry about why we did the uh, modification to the folder structure. In future lectures, we'll actually understand what is the purpose of this. So with this, we'll end the lecture here.